everyone. Uh, this is a lesson on speed, distance, and time. They are related. Uh, there are three formulas that you can use to calculate speed, distance, and time. The first formula for calculating speed is distance over time. You can write S is equal to D over T. And for calculating distance, it's speed times time. So distance is equal to S for speed times T time. When you write the formula, you can just write that. And then for time is distance over speed. And then T is D over S. Now, we have this triangle that you can use to remember these formulas if you can memorize them. So you draw the triangle and then you draw this line. And then in the bottom, you have two boxes like that. On top, you write D for distance and then speed and time. It doesn't matter in which order you put them here. Now, how does it work? When you are calculating for distance, you see you write distance. And then what's left? You see I've blocked the distance. If I block the distance, let me use my ruler. If I block the distance like this, distance, this is what I'm calculating, the distance. So it means... I will write time, time, speed times time. For distance, I, I, I multiply speed and time. Let's say in the question, they ask you speed. Speed is distance over time. Do you see that line? It tells you that you divide. So it's distance over time. Let's say they ask you to calculate time. So time is distance over speed. Okay. Let's use an example. Okay, the first example says a family travels 300 kilometers at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. For how long did they travel? When you get this question, you need to write what you are given and write what you are asked. This is our number one. Let's read again. The family traveled 300 kilometers. What is 300, and 300 kilometers? It's distance. So distance is equal to 300 kilometers. At a speed of 600, six, 60 kilometers per hour. So our speed is 60 kilometers per hour. You can write it like this, per hour. And then for how long did they travel? For how long? How long is time? So the actually the question is actually asking me time. Okay, let's let's use the triangle to find the formula. So in our question we are calculating time. So I'm gonna write time is equals to distance divided by speed. So it's distance divided by speed. Do you see how the formula works? Okay. So now I write what is my distance. It's 300 kilometers. You don't have to write units. Divided by my time is 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, let me not write units. Let me not write units. We'll only write units in the answer. Ne? So it's 60 kilometers per hour. So my time, I will say 300 divided by 60. And then it means they took five hours. How do I know hours? Because my speed was kilometers per hour. Okay, let's look at the next example. Okay, our example two. A car travels 60 kilometers in 36 minutes. Okay. At the same average speed, how far will it travel in one hour, 12 minutes? Okay, the first part, the car travel... 60 kilometers so it means they've given us this is for number two they've given us distance distance is 60 why am i writing three it's 60 kilometers and then in 36 minutes that's time so time is 36 minutes but our time in this equation we calculate a speed as distance per as kilometers per hour so we have to convert this time to hours so 36 minutes divide by 60 and then we'll get the hours when you have minutes converting to hours you divide by 60 
because they are 16 minutes in an hour. So 36 divided by 60, we get hours is 0, 0,6 hours, right? And then now, at the same average speed, so now they are telling us that we are actually must find the speed, this average speed that this car was traveling in, at the same average speed. So it means I must calculate speed. Okay, let's go to our triangle and say speed. Speed, I choose speed. Speed is equals to distance over time. So it's distance over time. Okay, then I use what? My speed is 60, I don't write units. And then my time is 0 0.6. Then I punch that in my calculate. It's 60 divided by 0 0.6. Okay, my speed is 100 kilometers per hour. All right, let's look at the next Now they say at the same average speed, they're telling us that we are using that speed. How far will it travel in one hour, 12 minutes? So if this car is going at 100 kilometers per hour, how far will it go in one hour, 12 minutes? okay now i need to sort out the time you see we have one hour 12 minutes i need to change it to be in hours only so my time is one hour is one plus 12 minutes it's 12 divided by 60. so i have one plus because it's minutes that's why i'm dividing by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour i'm converting that into hours 12 divided by 60 is 0 0.2 hours. So it means it's 1.2 hours. 1 hour, 12 minutes is the same as 1.2 hours. We have converted the minutes into hours. Now, how far will it travel? How far? How far is distance? So we're actually asked to calculate distance. So we go to our formula. We say distance is equals to speed times time. So my speed is 100. My time is 1.2. Then 100 times 1.2 is 120 kilometers. So it means it will travel 120 kilometers. Okay, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Thank you.